There it is, my old cook. Chicken breast patties and chicken fries. Ain't no green vegetables on there. You know, I've noticed this is a, one of those upright tower fan things and it kind of oscillates and it's got a big long cylinder on it that blows there. But I have noticed these particular motors used to, they all had copper in them. Now, not so much. And it's kind of a dilemma to me whether whether it's got copper in it or not, but I'm fixing to find out. It don't want to come off the way it's meant to come off. You get your hammer or your damn hatchet and do it the jackpot digger way. That's the way I do it. You know, I was going to start keeping these power supplies, but I don't think so. I wonder if that bit will fit that. Well, maybe. I love these power supplies. They, um, I try to keep stuff, but I can't, ain't got that much room. Well, damn. Son of a bitch. I'm going to have to find a... Now I'm going to have to go in there and get my other stuff. Okay, I went inside and got my angle grinder on it, and I just cut in there and whacked that damn thing off. And that should free that up. Oh. 
you know what, that's kind of hot right there. I'm always burning my dang self. Now the thing about these power supplies, there are some things in there that hurt, I think, I've been told there's something in there that holds the charge, I don't know. But I tell you what, one thing I do know, I'm sitting outside again. And I can just feel it. I can hear some of these bugs that starts up when it's going to rain and stuff. And I'm hearing them. Now that scrap or shred. That go in there on the shred pile. Here's another. Have I dropped my daggone? Well, some of them, there it is. That'll go on my copper burn motor, Paul. Now, with these things, I'll just start pulling screws out until I don't see any to pull out. You know, every once in a while I got this big old, I call it a roller magnet. I roll around here picking up all the screws I can't see. And usually I, when I do it, it ain't much, but I get about, about 10 pounds. That little thing right there, I don't know if you can see it or not, that's a piece of aluminum, but that thing right there is a IC chip. Yeah, I think that last little video I put up about being pissed off and I was cussing and all that stuff, I don't really get that upset about something, but something like that, I mean, it's just common courtesy. Why take a chance of putting somebody through all that and all you got to do It's mark that thing or something, you know. Matter of fact, I was thinking about making me up a bunch of stickers. And uh, it says stripped or already stripped or something like that. And I come up on something and I strip it, and then somebody else comes up on it that can't see into it or something. They'll see that sticker and I know it's stripped. I think that's what I'm going to do. Fix me some 
strippers, or I'm sorry, stickers. It says stripped, already stripped, courtesy of Junk Dogger. That would be the courteous thing to do. I would never leave something there and hoping somebody would come by and go through a lot of trouble to get it and then find out it's already been stripped. I would never do that. I would never do that. Now, I'm not going to strip this thing right here right now. Let me get that fuse out of there. Um, but a lot of this stuff is easy, easy peasy. Well, I need my big tent locks out there. That's that sure right. But no, I'm not gonna strip that right now. But I just show you, and there's that power little. You know, I thought there was a bigger transformer in here than that, but it's not. But I think these these I call them donuts. These little round things with a hole in the middle, like a donut. I call them donuts. Because they got a bunch of copper wire around them. See that and that? And then here's this uh, good heavy aluminum heat sinks there. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven IC chips in there. Actually, it's more than that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I already took one off. There were nine IC chips in that thing. You know, them things don't weigh much, but by, by then, when you get about 10 or 20 pounds of it, you sell it in board so it, it adds up. It adds up, folks. But I think I'm gonna call it quits for the day because it's gonna rain and I don't wanna be running around here trying to, I got some cleaning up to do too. Um, but that'll go in, that'll go right over there. And I got quite a bit of stuff that, uh, And I say, I'm not going to hear that dang bird. See all that? That's more grain board. I got grain board running out my ears. I wonder if I got 100 pounds. I might have. And... Then I got that right over there, but that pile right there, that's the one with, uh, with, uh, different things on it that I want to get off my pile. Fellas off the rain. I know I've done sit here and done exactly what I said I wasn't going to do. All right. And by the way, one of my Harbor Freight cordless, now I'd pull the trigger. Maybe I'll try the battery. Oh, 
not that old. Now that works just fine. Let's see what this one does. That's what the hell it is. Friggin' battery. I'm glad I didn't try that thing. Now let's see. Yep, the battery. I'll put the charger on it. See what happens. Son of a bitch. That means I'm going to have to go buy another drill just to get a battery. The battery costs how much as much as it does to get the drill and a battery. You pay about almost $20 for this and the battery and with the go buy just a battery paying fourteen dollars so you might as well just go on and get the whole thing that way you get a battery you get the drill you get the charger so on and what the hell there we go now Oh, I was going to say, I, if I offended anybody with that last video, I apologize, but I get pissed no end with discourteous stuff that some of these scrappers, just like when I run into all that brass a while back. Them suckers is running around all in a tiff because I wouldn't tell them where to get it. You jerks. Why would I do that? Just like uh, 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 on my platters, my microwave platters that I sell to this lady maybe twice a year. Uh, what was his name? Scrap Kingdom. He gets a bunch of them things. And he wanted names of the person in the address where I was selling that so he could sell some. Well, if I give him that, as many as he gets, I wouldn't even get a smell after that because I couldn't compete with him. He'd give her all he she wanted and probably cheaper. So, you know, I told him I couldn't do that. And 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 he didn't get all bent. I, I guess he totally understood it. You know, I ain't divulging my sources, or where I sell something, I'll tell you it's usually what I'm selling something for. But, and I can tell you, if you're in a different town, you know, different places you can go if, that I might know about, but that don't happen a lot. But anyway, it's gonna rain, and I still ain't got that pile of crap cleaned up over there. Oh. School starts next month, August. <clears throat> and um, I'll kind of be glad because that boy, he four or five times a day, he'll come running up to me and tap me on the shoulder and look at me and go, which means fix me something to eat. Something, not something. And he'll do that four or five. Sometimes I'll fix, like he loves pancakes, so I'll fix him pancakes. He loves uh, uh, hamburgers, you know, just plain hamburger patty with salt on it. And those are fixes coming to a screeching halt because we recently lost uh, my grandson, my oldest grandson worked for a food bank and he, he put in eight days a month. And for that eight days a month, I don't know we got somewhere between five hundred and thousand dollars worth of food. Uh, and 
and I don't mean just run of the mill food bank food. I'm talking about they were getting this stuff from um, some lab where they test food from different restaurants and stuff every so often to make sure everything's fine before they okay to keep, want to keep selling it or whatever. And we was getting like Whopper beef burgers. And the smaller uh, smaller Burger King burgers, we was getting the the uh, chicken breast thing. It wasn't patties; it was actual chicken breast breaded and ready to deep fry. We was getting the spicy in that and the mild uh, potato tots. Uh, Chicken fries, I think them chicken fries come from Burger King. And every once in a while, he would come in with a, 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 a five pound plastic container of mayonnaise that had been cracked open and tested and then closed back up. Then it was donated. But he'd come in with a five pound container of mayonnaise. He would come in with barbecue sauce. He would come in, uh, there was some stuff there, uh, oh boy, what was that? Oh, fish patties, fish cakes, fish patties, fish fillets. And all this stuff is froze. Well, they, that, Food bank had to close up, so it was pretty much this man and his wife that was running it, and he's older than I am, and his wife had a heart attack, and he wasn't getting enough volunteers to help him with it anyway, and uh, his wife had a heart attack, so they had to quit. And we are going to sorely miss that. I have, I, that was a church that was doing it. Uh, I've written a, a note, a thank you message for the church. Uh, I was going to go up there and read it to them, but I'm just going to give it to the pastor and let him do it. Because for five years we've been getting that stuff where my grandson been working there. Well, we didn't realize just how much it comes to. Now, to get that same amount of stuff, we're going to have to come out of pocket for it. But it's, it's going to surely be me. Of course, a while back, I run into a big school and other food bank had to shut down. They give away a bunch of stuff in a big lump sum, and We've been eating a lot of that. Matter of fact, I had some of that this morning. I had, uh, for breakfast, I had uh, uh, chicken chicken breast and, what was that veggie? I can't remember. Yeah, it's going to sort of be me. And you know, it wasn't, when that man's wife had that heart attack, it was just a day or two before that, I told my daughter, I said, you know, I've been thinking about Don, that brother Don, that's the guy that was running him and his wife was running it. And I said, given their age, you know, sooner or later, they're going to have to quit doing that. And we're going to sorely miss that. And it wasn't like three days later, she come in and she said, you know, when you said something happens to Don or his wife, she said, well, guess what? And I'm thinking, oh, crap, has one of them died? And she said, no, but Miss Pat had a heart attack. So, there you go. There you go. Anyway, I better get my... Looks like it was a clear off, but then I hear I hear the birds and bugs giving off the signal again. I need to get busy.
Oh. I sure like my VHUs. 